Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of All Scoring No Defense, the best sports channel. And on this episode, I'm going to talk about the Lake, the Lakers' big three debut performance. Let's get into it. Okay, if you watched like I did, you saw the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Golden State Warriors last night. Now, the Lakers did not win this game, but the big three of the Los Angeles Lakers had a good performance. What do I mean by this? You saw 20 points put up by Anthony Davis. You saw 10 points put up by Russell Westbrook, who also had 10 rebounds. And then you also saw 17 points by the great LeBron James. Now, in this game... Even though this is a preseason game, you have to love the mindset that Anthony Davis is having early. What do I mean by this? Okay, this season will be like, this will be the third season for Anthony Davis. This season. This will be the third season for Anthony Davis. Now, why am I highlighting this? Because the first season, he played with LeBron James. And let's be honest, he's never played with a great superstar of LeBron James caliber. So he took that season as a year to learn from the great LeBron James. And last season, what was the expectations that a lot of us had? Last season was supposed to be the year where Anthony Davis took the crown and, be, and should have been like, you know what, man? This is my team. But he didn't come into the last season in shape. And he kind of had a champion hangover because last season that wasn't the Anthony Davis that we need to see let's be honest and he did he was battling injury but now this season I love the mindset that he's coming into Anthony Davis looks bigger and he looks stronger how do I know this because Anthony Davis was inside of the paint that is what you want to see from Anthony Davis and that is a good sign from the Los Angeles Lakers now this is what I do believe that this is going to be the focal point this season Anthony Davis is going to take no the Lakers are going to go as far as Anthony Davis takes them because no one in the NBA has someone that can match up with Anthony Davis. So that is going to be key. And I'm glad I saw that or that we saw that last night when watching this basketball game. Another thing, the Lakers are going to have trouble when Rondo and Westbrook are on the floor together. Why am I saying this? Because Rondo and Lake, uh, Rondo and Lakers, Rondo and Westbrook are not great shooters. They never have been. So when you have those two on the floor together, yes, they had those two on the floor together along with Anthony Davis. When you have those two on the floor together, that's going to kind of, that's going to take away from Anthony Davis because Anthony Davis, you want Anthony Davis inside of the paint. Can Anthony Davis make that three-point shot? Yes, but is that what you want him to get most of his points from? No, and you don't want that. So it's going to be interesting interesting what Frank Vogel does when the season actually does start and when the season gets underway. Also, another thing that the Lakers are going to have to find, they're going to have to find consistent shooting because there were stretches in this ball game when the Los Angeles Lakers couldn't miss, but then there were also stretches in this ball game where the Los Angeles Lakers couldn't hit anything. So that's going to be very interesting. Now, I will say this. I was not a fan of them signing Russell Westbrook, and I'm standing on that. One thing about me, I don't flip-flop. I'm going to stand on this. But I believe Frank Vogel is going to end up finding this. Rondo is a better half-court point guard than Russell Westbrook, but Russell Westbrook is a better full-court point guard than Rondo because Westbrook, Westbrook is at his best when he gets that rebound and he's charging up the floor. That is when Russell Westbrook at his best, whereas Rondo, Rondo works best in the half-court setting. So it's going to be very interesting to see because right now, this team or this tandem, they're turning the ball over a lot, especially Westbrook and LeBron James. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out because that's all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I do new, I do new episodes like this Monday through Friday, and I'm out.